What's up guys, Mikkel here, and when we first got the decision from Judge Torres that XRP was not a security, we saw a massive spike in the price of XRP. But since then, we have really just seen XRP trade sideways, there really hasn't been much movement. Well, in this video, I want to go over why I don't think the run in XRP is even close to being done. I want to paint a picture for you guys for what I think is going to happen over the next couple months, and why I think these events are going to cause massive price appreciation in the price of XRP. I also want to cover some other things in this video that are really going to tie into the idea that XRP is uniquely situated over the next couple months to really appreciate in price in a big way. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see that you are not going to want to miss it. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to take a quick second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's really going to help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP or the Flare token, make sure to check out my favorite exchange I'll pull down in the description of this video. With that said though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So I want to start out this video with a quote from a Forbes author, Rosalind Layton, who's really been reporting on the entire Ripple SEC case. Now she just published another article the other day, but there was one specific statement in it that I thought was absolutely spot on. She said the SEC fought the law and the law won. And I thought this was absolutely outstanding. The SEC in their case really wasn't going against Ripple, they were going against security law. The SEC tried to make the absurd statement that XRP itself was the security, and because of this, they lost the case big. If the SEC just held their allegations to Ripple's transactions of XRP, this case would have been entirely different, and the SEC might have actually had a legitimate case on a lot of issues. And even if some of their rationale wasn't necessarily right or they got some things wrong, at least their case would have been based in the law. But what we saw in this case is the SEC tried to rewrite the law to jam cryptocurrencies into their jurisdiction, and ultimately that's what failed in this case. It was the black swan scenario for cryptocurrencies and XRP. Judge Torres went out of her way to take that scenario off the table, and because of that, regardless of what you thought on Judge Torres' ruling in terms of the transactions of XRP, you cannot argue that she got one thing 100% right, and that is XRP itself is not the security. It was the most important thing in this ruling, the reason why I keep talking about it is because so many people try to ignore this, try to act like, oh, that didn't really happen, oh, that's not really important, oh, she maybe got other things wrong, therefore this must be wrong. No, I think she did a great job in the entire ruling, but when it comes down to the most important thing, XRP not being a security, she hit it out of the park. Now, I want to move on and just quickly touch on something else because I thought this was really interesting. A lot of people are talking about how, oh, Ripple sales of XRP to institutions are now securities, and therefore that's going to kill the ODL product. But I want to talk about something very interesting because this actually directly came from David Schwartz. And what you're going to notice here is Ripple was already 10 steps ahead of this ruling. So David Schwartz actually responded to the original decision saying, oh, if Ripple wants to sell XRP to institutions, those sales need to be registered. Well, I want to start off and just say it doesn't mean Ripple can't sell XRP to institutions. It's not saying those sales are illegal. It's just saying, hey, Ripple, if you want to sell to an institution, you need to register those sales sales. Now what that registration process looks like with the SEC, I think we still don't know that and therefore there's definitely some clouds around if that's even possible. But what David Schwartz says here is very important. He says we're still figuring this out. We don't currently have ODL related sales in the US and not being able to do so is not really a huge deal. We can still do ODL in the United States so long as XRP is never sourced from Ripple. So this is very important. David Schwartz is going out of his way to say ODL can still be used in the United States as long as the customers aren't directly buying XRP from Ripple the company. Now this is extremely bullish because this shows that Ripple did get clarity on their most important product in the United States. But how are these institutions going to get XRP if they aren't buying it directly from Ripple? Well obviously they could buy it on the open market which would be very bullish for the price of XRP, but some might not want to do that. So 
let's just think about a product Ripple might have just launched that could play perfectly into this exact equation. Well, we know a couple months ago, and just so you guys know, it's stuff like this that really makes me question how planned out some of this stuff might have been. But we know a couple months ago, Ripple offered a brand new product called Liquidity Hub. And that product was Ripple sourcing XRP from exchanges and then being able to deliver that XRP to institutions. So what do we learn about that product and how does that apply to this ruling? Well, in that case, Ripple can source XRP from exchanges and give it to their customers without Ripple actually ever being in that transaction. These customers who want to get XRP from Ripple don't actually have to get the XRP from Ripple. They could get it from Ripple's liquidity hub product, but ultimately that XRP is just being sourced from exchanges. Ripple is just helping those customers get to the exchange to source the XRP. Now this completely gets around Ripple having to register their sales to these customers because now Ripple isn't directly selling to the customers, it's the exchanges. So Ripple actually launched a product right before this ruling came into play Place that would completely get around any issues this ruling might give to their ODL product. It just shows how smart of a company Ripple is. I don't know if this was planned or not. If it was, then that's insane that they thought about this and actually prepared for this ruling. If it wasn't, then I think this is just insane luck and it worked out perfectly. I tend to think it was planned to some degree. I mean, there's no way Ripple could have just randomly thought of this idea and then it fits perfectly into the one area of issue that came about from the Ripple SEC case. But the important thing to note is, is now Ripple has a perfect workaround for this issue going forward and their ODL product can fully operate in the United States. So why is all that important? Why is it so important that ODL operates in the United States? Well, I talked about this in my video the other day. What we saw yesterday, and just so happens this comes out right after the case ends, coincidence? I don't think so once again, but we saw that the Republic of Palau actually launched their public CBDC on the public XRP ledger. So what does this have to do with ODL in the United States? Well, I made the point yesterday in my video, and if you haven't watched that, I suggest you do. I made the point that, well, Palau is a country that heavily relies on aid from the United States. Our system is pretty much intertwined with theirs. We have military bases built on the island. So when Palau built their CBDC on the public XRPL, they needed the United States' permission to actually do that. There is no way they just did that on a whim. That's not how these things work. So now that Palau has their CBDC on the public XRP ledger, the United States is going to need some way to interoperate with that. And likely as other countries, and we know Ripple is building CBDCs in countries all over the world, as other countries build CBDCs on the XRP ledger, we're going to need the United States to be able to interoperate with those other countries. So what am I saying here? Well, we already know that there are Ripple partners currently working with the Federal Reserve in their FedNow platform and other aspects at the Federal Reserve. We can see right here, Volante is literally liking tweets that say things like, yes, FedNow is using XRP and Ripple technology through Volante Tech. So what we know is the biggest institutions in the world in the United States are going to have access to XRP via these different partners with the Federal Reserve. And we know that they now have an incentive to actually use this XRP because they're going to have to interoperate with different systems all over the world that are built on the XRP ledger. So this means we really are moving a lot faster than many people expect to a financial system that is actually utilizing these digital assets for their full intended use case. And XRP already has the clarity to be used for its full intended use case like we talked about earlier in this video. So what do I think all this means? Well, ultimately, we got our initial pump in XRP via the clarity from Judge Torres, but after that, we really didn't see much. Now, the reason why I don't think we saw much more is because we are still waiting for XRP to get that adoption, for XRP to get that liquidity into the ecosystem that it needs to start moving big amounts of money. 
right now XRP is moving relatively small amounts of money. We still don't have any large scale applications that the XRP ledger is being used for. But if we start to see some of these things play out, now that we have the regulatory clarity, now that we know XRP is being used in these systems, and now that we know XRP has pathways via the Federal Reserve to start moving money to and from these systems, well then we are in a completely different scenario. And I want to talk about one last thing and I want you guys to go watch this video. Blockchain Backer just put out an excellent video talking about how XRP is on the verge of a massive breakout. He gives some very interesting charts here and I want you guys to do something and this is really how I look at these markets. I am no technical expert like blockchain backer, but I look at fundamentals. So what I'm seeing is I am seeing the fundamentals increasing for XRP drastically. We just saw clarity. Now we see institutions using the XRPL and while it's small institutions now, we can see that the larger institutions are gearing up to start utilizing the system. This is all happening at the same exact time blockchain backer seems to think we are about to have a massive move in the price of XRP. So what do I think? I think we are about to see XRP gain large scale adoption that's going to have a significant impact on its price. I am watching the fundamentals and we are watching things develop at a rapid rate. We are watching XRP get the mass adoption we have been talking about for a while and I think it's going to happen a lot quicker now that we have clarity around the asset. Maybe we need one last domino to fall, maybe we need a settlement, maybe we need some final ruling, maybe we just need the SEC to capitulate and get out of the way, but what we know is regardless, it looks like from the technical analyst aspect, it looks like XRP is on the verge of a massive move right around the corner. So let's see if that corresponds to any news coming out in the next couple of weeks. Maybe it's another CBDC, maybe it's the SEC giving up on their case, but what we see is XRP is in a technical very interesting zone right now make sure you go watch this video it's his most recent video at the same time we're seeing drastic increases on the fundamentals of xrp personally this all makes me think that the pump we saw when the case ended was just a start and what we're going to see over the next couple months is going to be a whole lot bigger anyway guys thank you so much for coming i hope you enjoyed this update if you did make sure to like and subscribe it really does mean so much and for now mickle out